what's up you guys it's basically Brittany and you're watching basically Brittany TV and today I am giving you beginner makeup friendly steeds okay this video is for the working woman who doesn't want to spend 45 minutes in the morning putting on a face the makeup lack of enthusiasts that still want to look put together in an outfit airport looks I don't know y'all but this is definitely for people who just don't know what to do when it comes to makeup if you want to see how we got this look right cheer you know what I'm saying if you liking what you seeing you know what I'm saying if you want to double tap with me or whatever <laughs> then just keep on watching so in this beginner friendly makeup tutorial we're gonna start with step one which is our primer now the primer when it comes to makeup is kind of like a heat protected to hair or like a flower to chicken or like a paint thinner to paint it's like the step before your first step so before you apply your foundation you want to put on something that'll hold the foundation that'll keep the foundation together that'll you know just make your foundation work so I am going to use the tried and true milk hydro grip um, primer because honey in all the seasons I use it in the winter time because my mat, my matte foundation stays matte I use it in summertime because my summer foundation stays summery. This, it just does what it's supposed to do. It gives what it's supposed to give, okay? Now for the beginner friendly people who are just like, ah, I don't really, you know, know what a primer is. A primer is just, is just that. It primes your face for the rest of the face to be beat, okay? Okay, so you wanna take your primer and kinda put it all over your face like so and rub 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 it in now there are some if you see a white cast it's just because i did my skincare routine and the skincare routine always 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 requires say it with me s p f okay there are some people who when they use um primer in the summertime they want to go for something a lot more mattifying um, something that leaves you borderline ashy. I'm, I guess that just kind of depends on your skin type. Um, for me, I'm like super combination. Like there are moments where my face is dry and there are moments where my face is oily. So I don't really sway too much on one side. That's why I love this Milk Hydro Grip because, um, it kind of is perfect for those who are in the middle. Um, if you are oily, I probably wouldn't gravitate to this probably the primer really just depends on your preference so if you want your face to be bone dry like like super like once you put your matte foundation on it's not moving then use a super mattifying primer like the Be what was the Becca cosmetics um, mattifying primer or um, I believe NYX has a mattifying primer, can't stop, won't stop. Something like that that leaves your face like you can physically feel the ash <laughs> because it's so dry. But if you want something that kind of like will just make your foundation stay but not necessarily dry your face out, bound chicka wow wow. This is what I would go with. <laughs> okay, so once our base is on, we want to start with the foundation. Now the foundation should really... Um, you know, they say to match the foundation to your neck, but if you're anything like me, your whole body is six different colors, so you just match the foundation to whatever you wanna match it to. I usually just match it to my face and kinda carry it to wherever it needs to match, amen? I would also say this is another area where your skin type really comes into play because you don't wanna get super mattifying foundation if you already have super dry skin, or you don't wanna get oily foundation if your face is already a grease pan. As a beginner, you really just need to know what your skin type is like. So, because um, I'm combination, I can kind of sway either way, like dry, mattifying doesn't hurt my dry skin, oily doesn't make me a grease pan, so like, ah, it's kind of weird with me. So, what I usually have to do anyway, because my color just seems to be so hard to make, um, is I have to combine two foundations. Now, I'm not gonna really talk about the foundations too much that I'm using because you guys may have something different you may need to use, but for what I use, I usually combine my Estee Lauder Double Wear and my NARS uh, Soft Matte Complete Foundation. 
They usually make my uh, perfect color. They usually don't budge. <laughs> like throughout the day, I can wear my mask. I can kiss somebody. It doesn't doesn't matter. Doesn't budge. So what I do is I usually just take a few pumps on the back of my hand. Now, even as a beginner, you guys know the point of foundation. So I'm really not gonna go into depth of what foundation does or how to apply it because usually. Um, even if you don't really know much about makeup, you know that foundation um, kind of gives your face like good skin in a sense, like it makes your face even. So yeah, I take it on the back of my hand like so, and I just take a brush and mix it up. If you are the type that just likes to get up and go, um, don't even worry about like a liquid foundation. Powder foundations are really great too. Um, I just require a little more coverage because I don't have the greatest skin. So I just want something a little more spackle, if you will. <laughs> I just take it and put it on my face. Now as a beginner, this part does not have to be super perfect, especially if like this is just makeup you wanna do to just kinda be like on the go, like put it on, walk out the door. It doesn't have to be like super, my mirror. <laughs> my mirror is gross. This is gross. Now, here's a, here's a thing that I do that I actually got from Aaliyah's face. So one of the first places on my face is to Wow, words. One of the first places on my face that gets oily is my forehead. So what I usually do is I usually don't place any foundation there and just kind of let whatever is on my brush already kind of do what it does. So like I'm getting the coverage, but I'm not like applying the extra foundation. You feel what I'm saying? Kind of put it over your eye again. This is just kind of to get the most out of your foundation without like, I guess, pumping more or whatever, but I usually over pump anyway onto my hand just cause you never know. Cause I am the type to mess up. And you know what, messing up is fine. Messing up is how you learn to do your makeup. If I could post, I'm not going to, but if I could find um, a picture of when I was first learning how to do makeup. Oh honey. Oh. Oh honey, it was horrible. There wasn't much um, education around application um, unless you were a makeup artist. So the information that's out now on like YouTube and stuff wasn't quite um, available when I had first started wearing makeup. So now you got 14 year olds out here freaking being makeup gurus. And I'm like, at 14, I think I was allowed to wear eyeliner if that <laughs> and kids is out here wearing child kids is out here making it do what it do with the look i'm not even mad at it i'm just like dang like i just goes to show you the different times we're in <laughs> if you do use a brush back up so you do have to you have two options when it comes to how to apply your foundation. As you saw, I used a brush. You also have the option of using a sponge. Now with the sponge, it does, it does take up more of your product. So like a lot of it will be left on your sponge. That's why for the most part, I usually use a brush and then uh, clean it up from like brush strokes with a sponge. So just simply going over, sponge is still soaking wet. Just simply going over my application just to make sure it's smooth and seamless. Also guys, when it comes to these products, I know I'm naming a lot of like, I wouldn't even say high end, but they're kind of pricey. The products that I'm using are kind of, are kind of pricey, but check out Target and Walmart and I won't say Ulta. Ulta's not my favorite place, but, um, Check out Target or Walmart for the dupes on these things like uh, NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation, amazing. And it's like $13, whereas the Estee Double Wear is ridiculous. Uh, the Maybelline Stay, I, I believe it's called, the Stay Foundation, awesome. Equally amazing. So you don't really have to like spend a bunch of money to get great makeup. You can get it right at your Target. And I know we go to Target because everybody I know go to Target. So 
If you don't go to Target, I have questions. Are you saved? Do you believe in Jesus? Those are the type of questions I ask people who don't go to Target, because what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? See how now my face, face? My face is like a blank slate, like there's nothing to it. It's all one color-ish, it's all, it's all just there, right? So for beginner makeup, um, I would keep the brow very, very light. You know how usually my brow is like, it's like carved, it's sculpted. For beginner makeup, I would not focus too much on that because brows honestly take a very long time for me. So if I was a beginner and I'm just learning how to do makeup or if I'm just trying to learn how to do makeup just to be out the door and be presentable, um, I'd keep a very natural brow um, depending on your brow type. So if you have very thin, very sparse brow, maybe yours won't be so natural. But like for me, I have thick brow hairs. My my width isn't thick, but I have, I have hair. So I don't have to do too much when it comes to filling in my brows. So I'm gonna bring you guys closer. I'm gonna bring you all in my grill and we're gonna talk about the brows. <laughs> hey, hello, how are you? <laughs> you guys are a heck of close and I am almost uncomfortable. Like I was saying about your brows, you want to maintain the naturalness of your brow. So fluff it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? See what you're working with, make it into the shape that you want. Okay, I'm gonna try to do my best of looking as straight as possible, but I can't with this mirror. It is disgusting. This mirror is so dirty, y'all. I, we're here, we're just gonna, we're just gonna make it do what it do. Amen. <laughs> Ain't that the Christian wall? I'm looking at my brow and I can kind of see like what the shape is here. So for beginners, I would definitely, no matter what, still draw in that line under your brow just to make it appear fuller than it is. We're gonna just, you know, draw it in like such. And as you can tell, as you can see, it's already starting to get a shape. And I we barely did anything. Barely did anything and you can already see the shape. Ain't that, ain't that amazing? Um, I would pull it up further to the front. Um, and of course we won't leave this dense line like this, but we'll um, brush it out in a second. And then what I would, what I would do is I would find the area in my brow that is sparse. So like this right here, this area here for me is sparse to me. So I'm gonna fill that in. Ah! Oh! Dang it, got distracted by, hold on. <laughs> I can't, I can't now. Fi filming a video. Oh, I'm sorry. All gravy, baby, everything okay? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you have. <laughs> so we're gonna move forward and we're gonna video back. All right, baby. All right, sorry y'all. I let y'all still watch me do it, but maybe I can explain it better on the other eyebrow. But did you see me like brush out? So now like the front part looks natural. I had to clean up my brow because the phone call distracted me. <laughs> so I definitely messed up um, my shape on the outer part, but I really didn't do too much. I did the under, I filled in the over, and I corrected and that was it. I didn't like super sculpt the bottom and it still looks very natural. Now I am gonna put in a trick that is gonna make it look natural-er in a second, but I'm gonna explain my way through on this eyebrow because hubs distracted me. So again, we're gonna cheese and crackers. I can't get any filming done around here. So we're going to put the brow in the shape that we want like so. Y'all, this mirror is atrocious. No one should live like this. And I really should get up and clean it, but I, I, 
I just don't want to. I'm just gonna say it, I just don't want to. Again, we're gonna start with the bottom and don't go in all heavy handed. Just lightly sculpt the bottom like so. Follow your shape that you created or would like to create. And voila, you already have the shape. For my beginner people, brows are cousins, not sisters, not to, especially not twins, but they are cousins, okay? If you are lucky enough to have two brows that look exactly the same or got money to get microblades, good for you. For those of us, who do not have the money for microblading or got wayward eyebrows. Don't worry about it, sis. Don't even worry about trying to make them look the same. It just, they all got their own personalities. You gotta treat the eyebrow accordingly, okay? I chuckled because I felt like fish are friends, not food. I, it was funnier in my head. So we're gonna brush this bottom part out. I don't know if you guys, I hope you guys can see it. I'm gonna brush this bottom part out to make it look natural. Boom. Now we're gonna do the over top. And again, we're gonna follow the shape of the eyebrow. Again, not pressing hard with our pencil of choice because this is not for us to get makeshift eyebrows. This is for the most natural look you can get and just fill it. Fill it in. I won't say you have to have like a steady hand to do this because you can always fix it. Again, I didn't have to conceal the under eye. I really, it's like really bothering me though because I really want to, but we're gonna leave it alone. We're gonna leave it as is because we're going for a natural look. What we will do though is intensify the naturalness. Brittany, how will we do that? I'm so glad you asked. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I use the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. Again, use, uh, I believe Maybelline has the, oh, what is it called? But it's like the same uh, thinness as the Benefit My Brow. That's why this one is so great because it's thin. You can do hair like strokes, yada, yada. But Maybelline has the same thing and I wanna say NYX does too. You don't have to spin an arm and a leg to get a look. I'm just crazy enough to do it. To get our natural looking brow, we are going to take mascara. And this is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. Now, I usually gravitate towards mascara that promotes thickness of the lash, right? Because if the lash is thick or the hairs are gonna be thicker, then it's gonna produce thickness. So if you want a natural brow and thick, plump, lushy looking brows, then gravitate towards, um, words are escaping me. Gravitate towards mascara that promotes thickness. So we're gonna take this CoverGirl Exhibitionist, I'm gonna take it and then I'm gonna just lightly graze it over your brows. You don't wanna like, you definitely don't wanna treat it like, like mascara where you're like, <laughs> where you're like plumping it on there, but you wanna graze it over your brows. And again, give it the shape you want. This is your time. This is your moment. This is the part where you're like, okay, brow, this is the shape I want you to be in. It's great like that. You see how the hairs, oh, this is just so great. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Um, I don't like my left eyebrow too much. So my right eyebrow be given, and then I'll be looking at my left eyebrow like the stepsister from like Cinderella. Like, why are you even here? You didn't even come to play. <laughs> You're not even cooperating. Like, team projects are not your thing. Boom, we didn't sculpt nothing. We didn't, I, well I did, I did correct. But on me, on me, and that's just that on that. We're gonna move on to Concealer. Let me back y'all up. The purpose of concealer is to do just that, to con conceal. You know what I'm saying? If you got bags under your eyes, if you just ain't been getting no sleep, if you're stressed out and puffy, it's gonna conceal all that. You're gonna look good as new. It's given the illusion of awake, but I'm not. One thing I will say is do not go too bright. 
In fact, if you have the opportunity to get help from somebody from like a Sephora or maybe the Target has a makeup rep at the store that day, please, 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 if you don't know how to pick your color, please get help because you don't want to have, you see how orangutangish I'm looking right now? You see how orange I'm looking right now? Do you, do you know what it would look like? If I had like Casper White concealer on my face, not a good look. It is not, and there's no, there's not even a way to fix it. I don't, I wouldn't even play with fixing it because you don't know what you're doing. You're a beginner. You don't know how to fix stuff. So to avoid those kind of mistakes, just kind of go maybe a half a shade lighter than what your foundation is. Now, because on camera I'm looking real oranges, orange-ish, my concealer may come off lighter than what it really is, but in person it's like a shade lighter than my foundation. I know you probably watch a lot of makeup people who spackle on the concealer like full triangles on their face and all over. You ain't gotta worry about all that, sis. You just wanna put on enough to conceal what you don't want revealed, I say that. You know what I'm saying? If you live in a sinful life but you don't want people to know it, Put on your concealer. I am using the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm not usually, you know how in most of my videos I like slide it across my face. I'm just gonna tap, 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 re-up, tap, tap, tap. That is all I'm gonna do. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm a beginner. I'm gonna be, I, don't, I don't have time to be waiting on stuff to dry. I don't have time to be forming shapes on my face. I'm just trying to get out the door. I'm just trying to look presentable. I'm just trying to do something, y'all. I don't know. But I do advise you, even if you do the three spots, just wait a second, cool your jets. You know what I'm saying? And then go back in and blend it out. And the reason why I wouldn't like overdo it if you don't know what you're doing with concealer because say you're like me and you just got a lot of extra skin under your eye. If you're blessed to have like right and tight under eyes, good on you. But if not, if you don't know what you're doing, the creasing that would occur, the outright disrespect of the concealer that would happen, <laughs> avoid it sis, avoid it. So after a while, wait, which eye did I do first? This eye. I'm going to just blend this out because we want to look as natural as possible. And when you do it this way, you have room to build. You have room to be like, I need a little more coverage. I, you know, came back home at two o'clock in the morning and my meeting was at five. Um, you know what I'm saying? I stayed up all night arguing with my husband or whatever the case may be and I just don't want to look like what I've been through. <laughs> that That's not, that's an example. That's not what actually happened. We good over here. We good over here. <laughs> you see how like natural that look? Like you still get a glow but you're not like speckle. <laughs> you're not like girl. People, don't, people aren't going to be able to like scrape the concealer off your face, you know? And for me, I still would even want a little more coverage. So I am going to tap, tap, tap a little more. Just the two right here. Let it dry down some and then blend it out. There's more than one way to do things. So another way to blend your concealer is to use, use, <sighs> is to use a brush. So what you want to do is I would take one of these shaped brushes and just Pat the under eye. Now I did it the second time with a brush because like I said, a sponge like soaks up most of the product. So if I don't want the product sucked up, use a brush. And now I'm really giving like been awake, have my folders, and that was the best part of waking up. I really look like something, you know? I don't look like a hot, tired mess. Just to just to kind of backtrack with you guys for a little bit, I have only used two brushes in this whole makeup look so far. The eyebrow pencil is a pencil. I don't have to worry about a brush with that. I use the brush to 
help with my under eye and then the, bl the brush to blend out my foundation. For those who are super beginner, the less brush brushes you have, the less brushes you have, the more brushes you have, the more confusing it'll be. So stick with as minimal brushes as you as you should, could, would, whatever. Pro tip, don't let your concealer sit too long or either way you'll be creasing. Okay y'all, we are almost done. So the next step you wanna do is to set your concealer. I don't care how beginner friendly you are or how much you just don't know about makeup. If you put on concealer, please, please, please set it. I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm using Old Faithful Lorimer. Nothing new there. I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm gonna dab it into Lorimer, the loose powder, and I'm gonna tap off the excess. Excess, but access the excess, okay? Tap it off because we do not want to look like a morgue. Lightly dust Lorimer under the eye. Did y'all see what that just did? Did y'all see, am I, tr did y'all see what that just did? Let me try one more time with the other eye. Tap, 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 and a pot. I am not brushing under my eye because honestly, I really don't trust brushes too much. I feel like brushes give me brush strokes and I don't want brush strokes. I just want what I want. Boom. Now, after that, you wanna set the whole face. Now you do have the option to maintain using Lorimer, but I do not. I have something else for setting the rest of my face. And again, I will, I will always come back to this because I do not want beginners to feel like they gotta spend a million dollars to get a look. I am because I bought this stuff and I wasn't about to buy something else if I can just use this to represent what to do. I'm here for what to do, not what to use. Or kind of what to use. It's kind of like, do as I say, not as I do. Don't buy the stuff like I bought, okay, if you're a beginner. Don't do that. I've also actually been doing makeup for a little bit and have gotten better at it, so I decided to treat myself to this stuff. But <laughs> the point is, you can save some money by just going to Maybelline Fit Me Powder. Wonderful. Ugh. Did I get foundation? No. And works just as well as Laura Mer. And I believe that's only $20. I think I'm, I think I'm stretching it. It might be like 15. Whatever, it's cheaper because Laura Mer is like $40. Save yourself some coin. If you're a beginner, you don't have to go for the most expensive things. Just like what I use to set my whole face, I use the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. Maybelline Fit Me works just as well. NYX works just as well. You guys don't have to use expensive things, okay? Now, with the Fit Me Powder, you're gonna want to use another brush. Now, this brush I suggest even as a beginner, you should have a big powder brush. Something that looks like this. Mine is dirty, mind your business. Take note of the motion. I am not, um, what is that? Buffing and whatever, I am tapping this into my face. Why? I do not wanna disturb the hard work that I put underneath this powder, okay? And every time, Every time I start buffing something out, no matter what product I use, some shift it. And I don't need nothing to shift. Also, to help with the like mattifyingness of it, I just kind of stipple it in there. I feel like when you buffer, you kind of like miss spots or like it ends up splotchy or like, I don't know. It just doesn't give the same smooth for me. It doesn't give the same smoothness smoothness as if you just like stipple your powder in because child when I first started doing makeup by the way I don't really have to put this much on I'm just distracted because <laughs> I'm talking to y'all I'm stop I'm stop I'm stop I'm stop when I first started doing makeup I, what the what is that 
And why does it sound like it's right by my window? Do y'all hear that? Oh baby, that's gotta go. I don't know. I don't know what. And of course you guys will hear my neighbor. This is the most janky, chaotic, beginner friendly makeup tutorial you guys have probably ever watched. <laughs> Ooh, child, bra straps is showing, neighbors is cackling, whatever, wildlife is wildlife and it is realistic is what it is. I just need to know what that is. I'm like borderline terrified. Okay, so if you're okay with this part and that's all you needed, you can skip to the part where I do my eyeliner, my mascara, a little bit of eyeshadow, we'd be done. But if you kinda wanna not have a flat face and the only thing really with some dimension is your um, concealer, then follow me, camera, follow me. I want to big up this brand because um, I've been saying throughout, like there are dupes you can use that aren't as expensive as the makeup that I've been using, but Juvia's Place can actually get all my coin. Because it's real, it's like, it's not expensive, it's great quality, it's range, it's ridiculous for all my chocolate ladies out there. You, you not going wrong with Juvia's. Juvia's and them did that, okay? Another brush alert, you wanna take what looks like a blush brush. You can use it for your blush, you can use it for your bronze or your contour, but this is simply just to give us some dimension to our face. We did not do cream contour because I feel like beginners aren't cream contour friendly. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna just dab it in there. That's it, because this stuff is pigmented. Tap off the excess. The name of the game, tap it off. And then we're just gonna, we're just gonna do it like that. Now, I naturally look like, what is that? I naturally look like somebody punched me in the face. But pro tip, um, to avoid getting like a big old bruise mark similar to what I've got here, grab your brush like so, like so, and do it like so. And then I usually take my foundation brush to like clean up whatever accident I just <laughs> made because ooh. Okay, so tap, tap, tap. Grab your, grab your blood, bro. <sighs> Listen, whatever out there is distracting me because it's borderline like terror at this point because what is making that sound? What is making that sound? I think it flew away, whatever it was. I know it's a bird. Isn't an app. That's not even our business, is it? Nope. We're gonna take it and lightly, with a light hand. So now your face has a little bit of something to it, you know? Us beginners don't wanna do too much. This is the part where we use our bronzer for our eyeshadow. Again, I feel like for our beginners, the most minimal products, brushes, will take you a long way because then you're not confused as to what to do with what, okay? I am gonna use this little eyeshadow brush. Nothing too fancy. I'm gonna take the same shade that I just bronzed with. I'm just gonna put it in my eye, right here. And we just gonna, we just gonna swirl that bad boy. This is the only time I'll say, swirling is your friend. Cause you wanna blend that joker out. And guess what y'all, this is the only, the only eyeshadow, you can put it on your lid, you can do whatever. Just make sure you blend it out. This is the only eyeshadow we'll use, amen? I feel like when, when I was putting on my foundation, I feel like when I do that and then put it into my eye, it lays a good base for um, any eyeshadow, even if it wasn't this bronzer looking situation, it'd be, come on, eyebrows. Um, it'd still look good. So, 
here's the thing i feel like companies who like sell or make um eyeshadow primers to me it's like it's kind of like why <laughs> do you just enjoy taking my money because literally like literally concealer does the same thing your foundation can also do the same thing um it's just kind of like why 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 so we've done our bronzing we've done our eyeshadow we've done we've done all that now what i suggest before you put your mascara and your eyeliner and, or and all that stuff i suggest you set your face okay and this is no matter what level of makeup you are please set your face because because you should because why not i will be setting my face with the urban decay all nighter makeup setting spray long lasting i feel like i'm gonna sound like a this thing is moving y'all <laughs> he's moving now he's over here he, he sounded like he's behind me before now he's y'all i need i need to hurry up this video <sighs> i'm scared i didn't forget what i was talking about <laughs> like i've said before like a broken record you don't have to spend a bunch of money to get the same kind of product nyx got this mattifying because it is summertime coming up they got this mattifying uh primer or no 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 no. they do have a mattifying primer but they have the mattifying setting spray that is in a smaller bottle but it just it works just as well as this and i believe it's like 10 eight dollars this was like 40. if you use the urban decay all-nighter please 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 shake well <laughs> that's why i've just been over here like doing all this because you gotta shake it well okay Ooh. I'm gonna let it dry down. If you feel like you sprayed too much, never fear. Take your sponge and just tapity tap, tap, tap. The access, excess, access. <laughs> this is probably like, everybody probably knows how to put your mascara on and your eyeliner on. For me, I'm not a top. Well, let me put my mascara on first. The, this is the Maybelline Falsies. Uh, mascara that's one area that I will never spend a bunch of money in because I feel like the same quality that um, Urban Decay or NYX or what are the whatever those high-end mascara people you can get the same quality in Target with Maybelline for eight dollars so I don't think I'll ever be the one to splurge on um on mascara because you really just don't need to to be honest i feel like that's one of those areas where like you must got money because why <laughs> why do you feel why do you feel the need if you are looking for ooh, if you are looking for how to apply falsies you've came you've come to the wrong channel sis i ain't the one I am not the one because I am still trying to learn how to apply falsies and the struggle that occurs in my bathroom every single time, the frustration that happens every time I attempt to put on falsies, it's ungodly. It really is. Nobody should ever be that frustrated. All right. And then when it comes to eyeliner, this is the Marc Jacobs gel liner. Um, not a hundred percent sure if they even make this anymore because my under eye area gets, I'm uh, not oily, but it's like my tears kind of just settle at the bottom of my eye and it makes my eyeliner run. So like, this is the only, um, eyeliner that isn't as quick to run or like come off or smudge at the bottom of my eye giving me this whole got punched in the eye look. That's why I use Marc Jacobs. Honestly, if you are a top liner kind of gal, go with the top liner. If you are a waterline kind of gal on their bottom lash line, go for it. This, at this point, is all preference. It's all what makes you feel like it looks better on you. To me, the uh, under eye waterline looks better on me because I feel like I have huge eyeballs. So like it kind of makes my eyeballs look not huge.
And that's that. All you have to do is put on a lip, and I'm gonna do that off camera because do you guys really need me to show you how to put on your lips? I didn't think so. Be right back. <laughs> okay, so we're back. I just threw on a little lip liner and some gloss, and I am really loving how this came out. Didn't take long. I'm, I promise you the only reason why it took so long was because we were going step by step. I was explaining stuff and I was doing a lot of rambling. Um, but yeah, I love how this came out. I love, I just love how this came out. I feel so cute. If you made it all the way to this point, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. You don't wanna miss a thing, I'm telling you. Also, leave a comment down below. The name of the game today has been dupes. Expensive look lower cost so if you guys have any dupes that i didn't name or just want to help some other ladies out and naming some stuff that maybe we ain't never heard of before because everybody knows maybelline and it well i guess if you're a beginner you really don't know whatever leave your dupe down below and i will see you guys on another video thanks for watching bye